Hey free birds, welcome to another video. So I just want to say first up, there might be a little bit of background noise because people are living their life, they're mowing their lawn, etc. So sorry about that. And I also want you to wear headphones so you get the full effect. All right, so we have a special guest here today. We have Tanya Burr. Say hi, Tanya. Okay, she's not going to talk right now. She's not going to talk because... We did take her hostage, well, I did take her hostage and she's not too happy right now, but I'm sure she's gonna get happier soon. So we have Tanya here because we're gonna try and help her with her eating. We're just gonna watch her what I eat in a day video. And I'm gonna give my honest thoughts on you know what she's been eating because recently she has been going more in the vegan direction and i also have my sister twister here as you know she is not vegan yet but she's going to give her opinion as well let's check it out so i'll show you guys what i've got i've got an iced latte two hard boiled eggs i like to have them like this because i actually have them without toast because i found um not having toast in the morning is better for me and then the best fruit plate ever um, well, there's nothing to say about that breakfast. It's like perfect. You know, what can you say? Eggs are slimming. Eggs are slimming. And also, you know, there's fruit there. Like, so there's nothing at all wrong. I mean, like, Tanya did an excellent job. So I'm not sure what you're going to say that, about that because eggs are very, very healthy for you. And everybody knows that. Like, everybody knows that eggs are healthy. Duh, what are we even here for? What are we even talking about? Okay, so eggs aren't slimming at all. No, like there's so much propaganda out there about eggs because the egg industry is a multi-million dollar industry. So they have a lot of money to put into the propaganda. So eggs aren't actually healthy for you at all. And you can't even, like companies can't even legally state that eggs are healthy. It's illegal to do so because that's never been proven. And actually the opposite has been proven with a number of studies. Definitely not slimming either. It's more of a bodybuilding foods food. You know, when you think of bodybuilders, what do you think of? Oh, we've got a fly here. We think of eggs. Okay, so please don't believe the hype around eggs. They're not a health food. No one should be having them. And Tanya should be having like... Uh, you know, I, I love seeing the fruit there, but she needs to eat more because she did a, a hard workout as well. She needs more fuel. The only thing that I found that works for me quite well is not eating carbs at breakfast time. Obviously there are carbohydrates inside fruit, but I mean not eating like bread or what else carbs would you have at breakfast? Pancakes, I guess. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Tanya. Like when I eat carbs at night, I get fat. When I eat them at night, when I eat them in the morning, I also get fat. Basically, if I look at carbs, I get fat. Okay, um, you know, everybody has a different metabolism. Okay, we're not all the same as you, are we, Freely? I mean, God, we've got a different metabolism as it is. So I totally agree with Tanya, totally. Well, seeing that we're twins, that <laughs> that's actually impossible because we are genetically the same okay we're genetically the same so you know we can't exactly say that and um, humans are all designed to eat a similar diet so there's no you know reason to bring that one up but Tanya is you know going to crave sugar so badly if she doesn't have enough sugar Tanya you know if you don't have enough sugar in the morning you are going to crave it later on and usually it's going to come in the form of junk food so it's better if you have like a big fruit smoothie in the morning because later on you're just not even going to think about um, you know getting those carbohydrates as badly but when you you know have less carbohydrates in the morning you end up having it's very counterproductive because you end up having more fat later on and most people aren't looking to have more fat in their diet so it's really really counterproductive to do that i decided to go for um some seared tuna and then this is a kale avocado and white bean salad and then jim found this okay so at least fish is healthy she ate fish and salad like what more do you want Tanya to do? I mean, like, that's like the perfectly healthy lunch. Everybody knows that fish is a health food. Okay, and salad. 
I mean, salad's like vegan, so you can't knock salad, okay? You can knock, knock salad. And um, tuna, tuna is one of the best fish as well. Um, I mean, I love tuna. It is so, so tasty. Mm. Okay, so the the lunch was, yeah, not the best, okay? It's great to see that um, there's kale in there. That's awesome. You know, it's a vegan salad. That's great, but it doesn't provide a lot of nourishment and um, it does provide a little bit of fiber. Um, the breakfast didn't. It, it was good that I had a little bit of fruit, but she needs to eat more fruit. Um, Tanya, you need to eat more fruit and also more fiber in your diet. Eggs have zero fiber, fish have zero fiber. Um, and this whole like myth about fish being health food, it really, really is not a health food. It actually has a lot of um, toxic components for humans, especially seeing we have so much chemical runoff into the ocean these days, pharmaceutical runoff, and that's concentrated in the flesh of the fish. Then we eat that that poison and that toxicity and then we take it on into our body so it's definitely not a health food it really really isn't oh and i asked one of the waiters here and he said all the food is vegan so we got the guac and chips which we have eaten most of um the cauliflower the brussels sprouts and two little crab cakes so we might have skipped mains and gone straight to pudding okay finally you cannot complain about this Okay, Tanya went to an all vegan restaurant, okay, and she ate delicious food. Well, personally, I don't like vegan food, but it looked okay. It looked okay, but it probably tasted terrible. Okay, and the place looks posh as fuck. But look, okay, she at least ate a, at a vegan restaurant, so you cannot complain about this, okay? Okay, let's get something straight. I am not here complaining. I am trying to educate. I'm trying to help Tanya. And when she comes around and starts talking to me, I'm sure she's going to agree. Okay, so just calm down down over there. Um, so I went to um, Gracias Madre as well when I was in LA. And I'm just like so happy. Like, Tanya, I am so happy that you went to a vegan establishment. And you actually mentioned it as well. I can really see the interest in veganism coming up for Tanya. So... Good job, Tanya. That is awesome. Um, I know it's only a one-off, but you can see that like you end up you know, choosing fattier options when you don't get your body's your body and your brain's number one fuel, which is glucose, which is sugar, which is carbohydrates. If you don't get enough of that in, you're gonna go for the fat later, and the fat is going to add to your fat stores. It's not gonna make you feel as vibrant. You're not gonna have as much energy. You're gonna be grumpy. All of these things. So you can see how that contributed to the choices Tanya made through the day. We're in the Uber home now and I'm going to end this video here. Um, the vegan desserts were the best vegan desserts we have ever had. Tanya, I am so glad that you added that bit to your vlog. You're, you're very, very close, you know, like to becoming more aware, I'm sure. So I, I hope you watch some of my other videos. But it's really good that you actually said that and you seemed excited. So, I mean, the best uh, desserts I've ever had have also been vegan. And just especially because they're not hurting any animals. You know, they're not sending baby cows to the veal industry because then, you know, the mother's milk is stolen once the calf is taken away. And, you know, the egg industry as well, it's really, it's a, they're really disgusting industries that you don't want to support with your dollar because every time you buy these products, you're supporting them with your dollar. So I'm just really proud that um, for dinner, Tanya didn't support them. Okay, guys, so that is my video for today. And yeah, it's a little bit weird, huh? <laughs> Tanya, don't be freaked out, okay? I, I'm not actually um, crazy or stalking or anything like that. I do want to genuinely help you. And um, yeah, so let me know in the comments below what you think. And Tanya, maybe you just need like a head massage or something. Maybe you need some, um, you know, just some loosening up. So we can do something like that. Let's take your little, take your little scarf off for a second. Take it down there. Maybe you just need, maybe you just need some ear massaging. How does that feel? You don't like it? Okay, um. What about this? 
and have some tapping. The fly adds some extra ambience. You don't like this either? Okay, what about some stroking? How does this feel? Maybe this is better. So guys, <laughs> I know you probably think I've lost it by this point, but it's okay. I'm still sane. I still know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's just a little bit of a creative edge. So anyway, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. And I just want to say, Tanya, you have been the best sport ever and you actually did really quite well with your day. You do have some improvements, but we can work on those for sure. All right. See you guys soon.